Hello, I am Matthew Sanderson. Along with John Cuozzo, Phil McCauley, and Ashwin Verghese, I will be giving a brief explanation of the news vendor problem, which is a classic problem in basic inventory management. The news vendor problem models a situation based on a few simple assumptions. It assumes that the demand for the good being provided is uncertain. It also assumes that the good being provided or the inventory that is being managed consists of goods that perish at the end of a demand period. The news vendor analysis calculates the optimal order amount that will maximize the expected profit. For a basic explanation of the news vendor problem, we can look at its origins, the news vendor itself. The news vendor is trying, the classic news vendor that's trying to sell newspapers on the street corner is selling a perishable good because yesterday's news is only worth the paper that it's printed on. This means that the vendor has a few risks. He risks buying too few papers and missing out on possible sales profits, or he could buy too many papers and be stuck with having spent too much money on papers that he can no longer sell. A problem of this type also, also applies in other industries. Restaurants have the problem when they want to decide how much food to make for the night. High fashion clothing encounters this problem because these clothes are only good for one season. If a store buys too many, they'll be stuck with clothes that nobody wants to buy because they look outdated. If they buy too few, they miss out on possible profits. And then transportation tickets, like airlines. An airliner will sell, would like to sell as many tickets as possible to make money, but they don't want to overbook the flight. Also, they don't want to have any empty seats on the flight because they're missing out on profits. And now, we'll go and we'll look at a few inputs for the news vendor problem. In the news vendor problem, we are given the following information. The purchase cost per item, or C. The selling price per item, or S. The salvage value of each item not sold, V. And the distribution of demand. The distribution of demand is the probability of each demand being the actual demand existing in the market. Now, we deal with calculating profit for a given demand and purchase quantity. We need to choose a purchase quantity in the range of the given demand. For every demand, we can calculate quantity sold and quantity salvaged using the following. Quantity sold is the minimum of the quantity demanded and the purchase quantity. Quantity salvaged is the maximum of zero and the difference between the purchase quantity and quantity demanded. To get the revenue for each D, we multiply the quantity sold and the sale price and the quantity salvaged and the salvage price and add them together. To get the cost, we multiply the purchase quantity and the purchase cost. And we can get the profit at each demand by subtracting the cost from the revenue. Calculating expected profit requires several steps. For each demand, multiply the probability of that demand occurring times the profit at that demand and sum together all of these results. There's a uh, simple example of this listed below. The probability of demand A occurring is 20% and at this demand the profit is 4. The probability of demand B occurring is 30% and at this demand the profit is 5. The probability of demand C occurring is 50% and at this demand the profit is 6. So you take 0.2 times 4 plus 0.3 times 5 plus 0.5 times 6, and this gives you the expected profit of 5.3. To solve the news vendor problem by hand, you would have to calculate the expected profit for each order quantity as we did on the previous slide, and choose the order quantity that resulted in the highest expected profit. This is a very labor-intensive process, and there's a much more efficient way of solving the news vendor problem that will be showcased next. Here's an example of the news vendor problem. The inputs are a sale price of 150, a cost of 90, a salvage value of 40, and a distribution of demands. This example uses a discrete distribution of demands. Using the formulas mentioned previously, we can calculate the expected profit for ordering various quantities from the supplier. You can see that the expected profit is maximized when 17 items are ordered. 
There is, however, an analytic closed form solution that does not require enumerating all of the possibilities. We can calculate a ratio of costs called the critical value. This is calculated by the quantity of sale price minus cost over the quantity of sale price minus salvage value. In the graph here, the critical value is represented by the red line, and the cumulative distribution of demand is represented by the blue line. The solution is attained by finding the closest integer of the CDF that is equal to or greater than this critical value. You can see that this agrees with the previous slide that the optimal number to order is 17.